Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Learn with Jason. Um, today on the show, we have Grant Glidewell, who is joining us from Third and Grove, and you're going to teach us about Drupal today, right? Uh, specifically using Drupal with Gatsby, yes. I'm super into this. Um, so, Grant, do you want to give us like a little bit of a, of a background on yourself? Uh, yeah, I am a JavaScript developer specializing in React development and more recently building integrations between Drupal and Gatsby. So I worked on the uh, preview feature that we're going to take a look at today. Um, and hopefully we'll have time to take a look at a theme that I've been working on to help Drupal developers get into uh, developing on Gatsby. And Excellent. I've had a lot of fun uh, lately kind of bringing over Drupal developers into like JavaScript development. Uh, there, there seems to be a lot of excitement and people wanting to kind of jump into this. So Gatsby's a great way to do that. So I'm excited to be here. Very cool. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so what I'm doing right now is I'm looking at the Pantheon website. Can you tell me why I'm looking at a Pantheon website? <laughs> so uh, if we're going to spin up something that we're going to build against. Uh, Pantheon has a pretty easy way of just uh, spinning up a, an instance of Drupal, and then we're going to turn on a couple of modules, and hopefully we'll be able to build a Gatsby site against it. OK, cool. So I'm just going to, um, whoops, let's find out how fast I can do this. Let's see, to reach to the thing. Uh, here. Copy. Come on now. Okay. So I have a Pantheon thing. Okay. I am not an agency. You are not an agency. Okay. All right. I've got a dashboard. So I assume I want okay. to create a new site. Yep. Wow. Wow. So Ben in the chat just called me Chris. Um, so apparently Chris Biscardi and I have been spending too much time together because now we've become the same person. <laughs> All That's right. Funny. So I'm going to create a new site and let's see here. Wow. Amberly with the just brutal blow. I, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I get it. I'm short. Um, let's call this Gatsby Drupal demo. It's from the United States and we shall continue. What? Fine. Oh yeah. Uh, that may be one of my many Gatsby Drupal demos. That's okay. We'll, we'll add the, the learn with Jason acronym. I don't think I have one of those. That's, I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Um, okay, so Drupal, does it matter which version? Drupal 8. Drupal 8? Yes, because uh, Drupal 7 won't work. And, and is that because Drupal 8 is where, like, D is? so is it decoupled? Is it headless? Like, what's the, it, how, uh, mu so how much there, do you know about term. Drupal if we're being, like, because I don't know anything about it. This is literally the first Drupal thing I've ever done. Okay, and this is like the second Drupal thing I've ever done, so we'll <laughs> like struggle through this. Um, Good. Okay. So Drupal 7 is pretty old, um, and our specific module for Gatsby Preview is uh, only, only works in Drupal 8. Uh, for for PHP reasons, I'm assuming. Okay. So for for PHP reasons, I like that. I think uh, that that's going to become my default excuse all the time like what's the thing uh, it's it's for php reasons <laughs> yep um so, so this will take a minute uh should we do something else in the meantime we can do is spin up uh uh like a like a gatsby project and get so like yeah yeah let's do it we'll go to uh here and then get or wait drupal i think i just yeah, I have an empty folder here. So I'm going to, um, do you, is there like a starter I should use? Should I go from scratch? What do you think is the? So we could do this one of two ways. We could we could do it from scratch initially and then I can show like how useful the, the theme is or uh, 
we could just start with a theme. No, nah, let's do it from scratch. I like I, I like seeing how the how the guts work. So let's do Gatsby new, and I'm just going to use the Hello Hello World starter. Um, okay. Gatsby starter, Hello World, and that's just going to put uh, basically an empty site into this folder. Okay. And oh, I forgot I added a thing today. Um, so. It's this is going to be if you if you type uh, exclamation point redeem and then please hold plz hold we'll get um, elevator music now or at least it should work please work <laughs> is it doing the thing uh, you you spent imaginary money on this I did I did I have <laughs> so this is a new ridiculous thing that's happening. Um, I have something called Blitz Bucks now. So every every five minutes that you watch, you're gonna earn Blitz Bucks, and um, <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. Okay, so um, it basically you earn these imaginary points for for watching time, or for like the amount of time that you watch, and then you can redeem them for things. And so the first thing that I've put together is this idea of um, being able to play elevator music while we wait for node modules to install. So, <laughs> so that's a fun thing that, uh, that everyone can do now. Um, Perfect. now we have, we have what now we have a, uh, we've got uh, a, we thing. have a starter. And so we're, we're also going to need uh, Gatsby source Drupal. Okay. So I'm going to do yarn add. <laughs> All right, y'all, uh, Gatsby source Drupal. I'm very excited that this exists. I need to turn this down a little bit, though. <laughs> oh, that's that's great. Um, and it looks like the the deploy is is ready. The Pantheon site. So if we go back over to that, okay. uh, I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to add some of these modules. Let's find out here. Um, oh no. I don't even think I have an FTP client. Am I going to, do I need no, to no, use no. Can, So if you click on connect with SFTP, um, well, I, I, oh, wait, no, we may have to do a thing that involves like, a. can uh, I do get this? Might oh, not no. be what, did I, what have I done? Um, so no, we go to site admin. Let's do that. Site. Uh, I've broken something. Oh, yeah, why is your cursor crazy? Please help. This one. Site admin. I'm going to choose my language. Okay, I've got my language. Now we're going to go through like the 50,000 steps of... Uh, no! Not... Oh, you switched to get, didn't you? Wait, switch, let me go back. I'm, back, back, I'm to... going back. I'm going back. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, it didn't You have a everything. backup in case we can't figure this out, right? We definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, all right. Let's I'll try back. Try this again. Cancel. Continue. English. Okay. Uh, demo. That's what we want. Demo. So this, this will start it up so that we have like some data to query. And, Got and Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, I, I know. I get so excited about things and I just start pushing buttons and then I realize what I have done. Um, and also, so in addition to the, the elevator music, I would love to add more ridiculous sound effects and things. So if you have ideas or like things that you would want to see uh redeemable through these these blitz bucks um please let me know because i have like i have a few ideas but it would be really fun to be able to you know to kind of collaborate on these sorts of things um if you want to send me sound effects and, and ideas for when i would use them that's also uh very appreciated just make sure they're legal to run on youtube because i don't want the videos to get silenced um that was a good spiel too while we were waiting for this to install perfect length i mean <laughs> pro come on now so it says it's done we'll see if that's actually true i was like just kidding i'm not actually done yeah oh it's loading it's doing something cool well while that's happening i'm gonna um well maybe yeah let's have you look at uh the module on so it i think it's drupal.org slash uh, I don't know if it's modules Gatsby. Module, uh, say again. Pro projects. 
or slash project slash Gatsby. Gatsby. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's it's like real stuff. This is cool. So I've got okay, we've got the Gatsby source Drupal. Yep. And we need to install this. So let me go over to here. We're going to open this up. Hopefully it's the right size. It is. Hey, look at this. First try today. Um and that let's me. goes a long way. Oh, it's so nice. Well, so this one, I have an Apple script that like resizes the browser and everything, but VS Code is way too cool to be affected by Apple script. So I have to rely on like use previously uh, previous dimensions when opening. And sometimes oh, that yeah. works and sometimes it really doesn't. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to clear this out so it's nice and nice and clean. We're going to do plugins and then we needed, uh, nope, nope, not, not an array. This one, resolve, it was Gatsby source Drupal. And then for the right. options, one of them was preview true. I remember that. Uh, so we don't need that anymore. Um, no. What? Yeah. But it says it we, says we, to do it. it. Well, I mean, documentation. How does it work? Uh, <laughs> I clearly don't know. <laughs> um, okay. So what we, do I what do I set for this that. base URL? Uh, yeah. So just base URL is. I mean, if you want to leave it open to all the hacksaws in chat, um, we'll probably destroy this instance very quickly. And I think plugins plugins is an array, yeah? Oh, that's why it's complaining. I was like, what? what? I knew there was an array in here somewhere. Hey, look at that. And so, yeah, then our base URL is going to be uh, our Drupal site. So let's uh, check back with that and see how the progress is going there. Uh, yes. Cool. Uh, that seems like a th put in, I don't know why it requires a site email address. Um, well, here we go. I'm really excited for whatever this is going to cause. Um, <laughs> it doesn't, uh, verify anything with it. It doesn't, um, uh... okay. And so this is this, okay. These are, are hidden at least. Um, <laughs> That's good. So, I mean, <laughs> Drupal is like a a real thing that people use. It's, well, I I mean I don't I don't mean I like make it. I that's not what. Come on now, that's not what I meant. I meant like sometimes when you create passwords, they, they the first time it shows you. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I'm ridiculous. Um, oh, you mean like the 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 trailing letter thing where you can see. Well, I just didn't want this to be visible. Yeah. Yeah. Like you see one letter and that kind of stuff. It just look, oh, okay. I've learned not to trust these knuckleheads. They, they watch and then they go and they mess things up and they think it's real funny and it wastes a bunch of my time. Cause I think that I broke something. Um, so <laughs> 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 um all right. So I'm going to just choose a really easy username and password. Don't you dare hack this. Um, what am I actually, maybe I shouldn't use an easy password. Well, we can we can throw this like in an ENV and keep it off if you're concerned about that, right? Okay. Uh, it, yeah. yeah, we will have to do that. Um, <laughs> because security. Because security. Whatever. That seems okay. Don't want that. And anything else? Yeah, that seems seems right to me. That's an interesting idea. I like, like a password manager specifically for for a stream. You know, you can you can do that. So if you use like one password or whatever, you can set up different vaults. And I I should probably set up a vault specifically for this stream so that none of the other stuff shows up when I when I go in there. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's a really good idea. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll see how how effective that is. Um, completed, but it, yeah, well, then what? That seems like a Hello? Maybe it should do a thing. Oh, it's doing it's doing a thing. It needs like okay, a loading okay. state. <sighs> yeah, this is pretty unclear. It's okay. All He's... right, Drupal people. Fix this in Drupal 9. <laughs> we're, we're clearly very close to Drupal have, 9. Eight have have, have you considered rewriting Drupal in JavaScript? Oh, that's a real thing. <laughs> and oh, is it really? Do not like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no.
a, a friend of mine, uh, somebody that I actually learned a lot of programming stuff from, uh, was working on the admin UI in JavaScript and he built it all in React. And that project um, was quite controversial in the community. Yeah, okay. I can see that. So now we go to configuration, I believe. I'm going to try to do this without going back to the, the documentation page, but that's you know, backup number one. I fully support this decision. <laughs> Let's see how bad it gets. All right. Uh, uh, so need- ben sure. is asking if Kyle Matthews, the, the founder of Gatsby, was a Drupal dev. He sure was. He, In fact, Kyle used to work at Pantheon, um, which makes it all that much funnier that I've literally never seen that website before today. Um, okay. So... Cool, cool. You were telling me what uh, to do, and I, I talked right over the top of you. So it's not, I'm wrong. Configuration's not right. Uh, we need to go to extend. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nobody in chat helped me with this. Just let me struggle <laughs> blindly. Um, so let's yeah, filter This is how we and, learn. Yeah. We need to turn on uh, your API. I need to turn on my API. Yep. Which, is it just API? The JSON API. Not no, <laughs> see what I did there. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to turn that on. Okay. So Do I need, install. Are there any settings or anything? Okay, cool. I don't think so. All right. I think, I think we just turned it on, and I think by default everything's exposed. Uh, if it's okay. not, uh, no, it's it's got to be because I never went in and like configured what's exposed. So yeah, that should be good. So I, I get questions sometimes like, why would you use JavaScript over PHP for this type of stuff? Um, and this experience right here is exactly why. It's mm. like the the delays in some of this stuff is, is kind of crazy. Um, so I think we would go to install new module, right? Install new module. Oh, install the, new module. The blue button there. Yep. Uh, do I, in the, is this where I grab this thing? No, this I thing? I think so, yes. Is it that? Uh, mm, FTP. Do, oh, that doesn't seem right. No, what about the tar? So I think on the, on the right panel, uh, towards the bottom, resources development. Oh, at the bottom there. So this one? yeah, the tar GZ. So just copy that link there. Copy link address. Let's get over here. That looks more correct. Okay. Yeah. Let's install. Oh, what if, that what if that Jason's API returned XML? Come on, y'all. We all know that I would return. I, I would be a SOAP API. Um, I'm, I'm a little in, concerned uh, to dig into that. So I'm just going to let that. Enable newly. Do I want to enable? Yeah. Okay. We want to enable that. And now that's down here somewhere? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so that configuration we're going to do in no. a minute. Um, let's build something against this first so we need uh oh here it is so copy the url copy which url uh the 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 one that's in the in the url bar currently uh everything before uh the slash so just the base url there okay and is that what i'm putting in here that should be the base url and then yeah and as long as we this? have JSON API turned on, um, can, which it... we can go and check by just throwing that in the browser and uh, going to like slash JSON API. Does that work? Uh, I think it does. No. Fine. So yeah, go to slash JSON API there and it should. Wait, uh, how am I... Hold on a tick. Is it because I'm, this is terrifying. I Like I can't log in through SSL. I'm going to just, eh. Um, yeah. Just go to the slash JSON API URL so we can make sure that that's on and it should prompt you for like just credentials. Like and we know it's on and working. Yep, just like that. Or it just works. No credentials. Uh, so cool. we need very quickly to um, turn on basic auth, okay. uh, which I don't know how to do. Um, configuration. Just believe in and ourselves. We should probably find JSON API. Basic site settings, that seems like something that we would want. Development, is there like a security JSON thing? API there on the left. Let's only read. We'll leave it then. Uh, eh, yeah, it's, yeah, that's, then we don't need credentials, we're good. 
Okay. So we'll leave it open. Okay. Um, so that should then, if we run Gatsby start, it should pull in all the Drupal datas. All the currently. Drupal datas. Those are the yeah. datas. Th them's the datas I like. Let's mm -hmm. do, um, what was I doing? Yarn develop? Oh, that's right. You use develop. I always use start. Uh, do we have a, we might have like a shortcut in here that does that. I never look. Yeah, start is run develop. <laughs> oh, nice. Doing the thing. It's doing stuff. There's page queries. Cool. So we want to go to our GraphQL uh, uh, interface there. Yeah. And while we're while we're moving over. Um, there's a question about the theme jam site. So the theme jam ended yesterday and we got so many more entries than I thought we got over a hundred entries to the theme jam, which is incredible. Like I awesome. still can't believe how awesome the Gatsby community is. Um, but, uh, yeah. So Ben, if you want to, if you want to submit a, a PR, that would be great. Um, make sure you tag Kyle Gill in the, the review because he's the, the one who did a lot of that, um, tag flow as well. Um, I also think that Kyle Gill did pagination, so he might just turn on pagination for it. Uh, we were going to localhost GraphQL. Yeah. And in here we have all sorts of goodness. Let me close this one so we can look at the Explorer. Um, where do I start? So we can check out, uh, just, uh, for exploring sake, all node article. All node uh, article. So that's there. Oh, that's what? menus. We click. definitely don't want menus. All menus are an article. Okay. I want you to go away and I want this to become nodes. And let's just pull some fun stuff in. Maybe I can get like the path. Nah. Yeah, we're definitely going to want a path. We do want a path. Do path I want alias. The alias. And mm -hmm. then. Uh, title is down at the bottom there. That's what I was looking for. Maybe we start here. Hey, hey. Go. That's pretty slick. All right. So uh, what the source plugin has accomplished for us is pulling in these articles. Uh, so we've got titles. We've got the body, the process wow. body. Wow. Oh, so much data. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. So this is, yeah, I love this. This is awesome. Um, field image, alt height and width, but there's no thing. Is there like an image? So there's an alt. So that's probably a relationship. Uh, so go ahead and bring in alt text on field image. Alt. Because accessibility is important. Indeed. Uh, and then in relationships, field image. So what the plugin has done is brought in, uh, it's downloaded the local file. So we, we want... Where is local our uh, file. local file? Yeah. Uh, but we will need to install like Node Sharp, it looks like, because otherwise this won't get processed into an image. Well, no, it's, it's so it's an image. Let's, well, let's go back there real quick. So we, we can definitely do that. Uh, yeah. Relative path. Relative path. Yeah. What did the... So we can relative path it. But... Oh, that pulls out. The, okay, so URL is like the, the full thing. Relative path is going to be our local version, although that there should be another path there. That's the one that I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And now I'm, what is this? Absolute, Absolute path? path. There it is. I knew there was a thing. Nope. That's, that's relative to the system. Um, well, <laughs> I know, but I know you're like one of these works, but yeah, I think the, the thing we're going to want here is, um, the Gatsby image stuff. So okay. like this, so if we were, if we didn't want to do Gatsby images, this creates a local file node and that local file node is cool, but we're not transforming it to be anything useful yet. So, um, we have access to things like when it was created and where it is on the system, but it's not like optimized for use with Gatsby. So if we weren't going to install that, we'd probably just use the URL and load the, the external uh, image. Cause like if I take this and yeah. Ecomath328 in the chat has it oh. right. It's usually public URL. Public URL. Yeah. 
And that doesn't Happy. exist. But why? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that, yeah. I wonder if that also comes. Okay, so here will be the test because I don't actually know where these all come from. So let's add um, Gatsby plugin sharp and Gatsby transformer sharp. And what these will do, and this would be an excellent moment to cue some elevator music. Um, what these will do is give us um, the, like, the sharp binary gets downloaded. And then that will, wow, I only wear Lacoste. Let's keep it clean in here. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, kind of, like, let's keep it clean. Um, so <laughs> it makes me so happy that this exists. Um, so what Sharp is going to do is uh, any image, any file nodes that are of JPEG or PNG type will get picked up, transformed into the various sizes and shapes that we need uh, in Gatsby, and then the child image sharp node will be added to the file so that we can get all the optimized sizes and, and public versions and stuff. Um, oh, sharp, come on. Whew, this hurts a little. Uh, uh, well, okay, we're good, we're good, we're, we're good. good. All right, let's start again. Let's see if it magically appears. And... It should Somebody show us. Uh, Gatsby source file system is what? Oh, do I need Gatsby source file system? I... Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yarn add Gatsby source file system because Gatsby source file system, I think, has all the, the things. Oh, and I didn't install the plugins or anything. I'm just, like, out here being a dork. Let's get into the config and then I'm going to install Gatsby source, nope, Gatsby plugin sharp and Gatsby transformer sharp. And I don't think we actually need to install the, the plugin because we're not loading from the file system yet. We just need the helpers that it exposes because no. uh, Gatsby source file system has a helper function called create remote file node. And so that's, um, that's required to get what we need. So let's, now that we've installed it, let's run again. This so I, Ecomath 328 asks, uh, will Gatsby source file system work with remote images? These are not remote images. You can see right there, they're downloading. So it, it pulls them all in. Mm -hmm. So no, but- uh, Hey, no errors. Form. Nice. Okay, so if I reload this, then, looking in Let's at see. the image relationships, here's the local file, child image sharp, and now we can do like fluid, and let's get the source set, and I'm gonna drop, yeah, that's fine. So we'll go down here, and now we have our source set, so I can get, like, let's take this one. This is the small, our little guy. And now we have a local optimized version of the, of the thing. So that puts us in great shape. We, we now have the ability to load these images. Um, and this is like really nice, right? Because it just, uh, it like, as, as Mr. Nime just said, it just works trademark, um, which is my favorite way for things to just work. So if we, um, like, well, actually, let me ask you, what, what else, is there anything else that we want to set up right now? Or do you want to get into building a site with this? Let's, uh, let's, let's template against this. Okay. Uh, and, and see what we can do. All right. Where, uh, where do you want me to start? Uh, we need, uh, well, we need two things. Uh, so we need a Gatsby node JS file and yeah. And are we, are we going to create pages out of these or? Yep. Okay. Um, right. Yeah. Okay. I just like forgot how code works. We need actions, and I think that's everything we're going to use right now. So yeah. that's a dirty lie. I need to get the GraphQL, and that might be everything that we need. And because we're going to do a GraphQL call, I'm going to make this async. So then we will do data equals await GraphQL, 
and then we need a query. So let's go back into the Explorer and let's build the query that we actually want. Um, so right now we've got, let me collapse the body here. Is it gonna let me do that? It's totally not. Um, so I've got the I path. We'll the Explorer though, and it'll give us a little more room. Okay. So I've got the path, I've got the title, the body. Do you want me to get the body as HTML? Yeah, this is fine. Okay. We're gonna just throw caution to the wind and dangerously set that. <laughs> Not something I recommend. We've <laughs> built some like weird custom workarounds uh, so that we don't have to do that, but mm. uh, we don't have time for that today. Yeah, today is not the day. So right. we've got the field image. Um, why are you helping? What did you just do? Field image, yeah. then we've got relationships. Um, and under the relationships we get, I think we've got more than we need. So I'm gonna get rid of these. Yeah. Actually, I wanna check too, does it? Maybe. No, we lose that public URL. I don't know where that uh, where that one comes from. Maybe that maybe like that's set by the whatever downloads it, and maybe the Drupal plugin just doesn't. Maybe it's not under. It's got to be under local file. I don't know. Eh. I'll have to go and like dig through one of my other projects and figure it out. It comes from file system, but it's not coming from file system. Um, yeah, that would be under local file. Yeah. No, I don't know what's going on. Um, does my follower animation still say holy buckets? That's awesome. I thought that I changed that, but I'm into it. Um, and also, thank you for following. So we have... All right, so um, uh, quick recap. We have our fluid image, which I think fluid's what we want, right? We want one that's going to scale with us. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to install Gatsby image to, to render that, but right. we'll get there. Um, and then we have the alt text, we have yep. our body, we have our title, and we have the path. Do we need any other data? That's it. Okay. So it's we, so simple. It's <laughs> famous last words, my friend. Um, all right. So, and let's let's call this instead of my query. Let's call it uh, article. Drupal articles. Sure. This will work. That's, that tells me what I actually want. And then here, okay, actually, oh. hang on a second. So we're, we're building this against uh, the intent to, so we still want, we want to keep this query, uh, but all we want from this is the path and the ID. Oh. And I will tell you why. Wow. I'm really glad I caught this now and not uh, in a while. Not like ID after we've built the whole the website. that we're going to get rid of. Yeah, let's see. I think I got a little aggressive the right there. Of... Is that going to run? There we go. Okay, so this will be our, um, oops. you were probably right. We should just call it articles. All right, so I am going to, where's all this extra, where are these spaces coming from? Get out of my house. All right, we've got our query and that gives us data. We're awaiting it, which means we don't have to do any like dot bends or anything. And so I'm going to check if data errors, then we're going to, um, I guess I'll pull in the reporter. And I need to have somebody from the core team come on and teach us about structured errors because they are new and I don't know how they work yet. So I'm just gonna do an unstructured error. Okay, and if that's why I haven't seen this. Reporter.panic, do we have the reporter? Do we have to? The the reporter like imported or it just exists. So the reporter oh, comes in as, as one of these. Um, no, I did that. You just weren't paying attention. It's fine. It doesn't hurt my feelings at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and I mean, um, you'll have to get over it eventually, right? I'll, yes, I'll, I'll survive. I'm sure. And so reporter, uh, you have kind of the same thing. It's, it's similar to console log, but you have like an info, a warn, and then panic, which will stop the build. And then panic or panic will stop develop or build. Panic on build only stops the build. So it's kind of a nice way to to choose what level of disruption you want if something goes wrong. Um, then if we get here, we know that we have data. So we can say, wait, I want this to be called result. Because the value of it is going to be like result.data. And we're going to get um all node articles dot nodes and we can like 
map over the, or I guess we'll, we're not going to return anything. So we'll do a for each, call it article. And then in here, we can do any stuff that we need to do. And so are we just creating a page? Yep. Okay. So actions create page. And in here we need a path. We need a component, which we'll have to build and we yep. need context. And so the context, I believe we're just going to pass in the article ID and that's going to be article dot ID. Correct. Uh, yep. That okay. is correct. And then do we need to pass in the path or you just, you just want the path to be used up here, right? Yeah. I just want the path to be, uh, so path, path dot. alias, right? Yep. Yes. Article and then alias. let's go create a template component. I think that's all we need here, right? I believe you are correct. So I'll do a templates and we want this to be called article.js and let's set up a boilerplate from react and we will do const article is for now just going to say article. Thank you so much for your help VS code. And then we will export default article. Okay. Uh, you're missing a quote on the end of React there. Pull yourself together, man. Um, okay. There we go. That's good, right? That's that's accurate code. And then it's a thing. It's it's gonna do some stuff. Uh, then we're going to require dot resolve, and we'll go to source templates article. And assuming I have no typos in here, what will end up happening is, oh, there's a typo. What will end up happening is we'll end up creating a whole bunch of pages that just say article. However, they will have the correct path. So here we go. Rolling the dice. Quartical. I should have called it just quartical. No. Cannot read property Good nodes thing. of undefined, which means I have made a mistake. All node article. Oh, oh I, it, I pluralized uh, it. Does it require you to reference the name after data? No, it, uh, I, I made this articles instead of article. And so when I fixed this down here, like it was here, so I just removed that S and now it should work. Trying again. Come on. I think it's doing it. Yeah. Localhost 8000. We get our Hello World page. Now if I go to the 404, we should see a list of our articles. And each of these articles should say article. And it sure does. So then if we come in here to the article, we should be able to pull out our props and let's just do a dump. And the dump we will do is just a json.stringify of the props and then we'll make it a little bit easier to read. And now, yeah, we get all of the things that we get. And most poignantly, we have our article ID, which I assume you've passed because you want to do another query. We are going to do another query. All right. So to do that, I'm going to import uh, GraphQL from Gatsby. And then I'm going to export a const. And this can be called whatever you want, but I'm going to call it query. And in here, we wanted that uh, the, the actual data, the body and the that good stuff, right? Yeah. So we're going to do that, but we're, we're going to uh, pull in that ID that we're passing. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, and we're, right. Article ID is going to be a string. And that is, um, because we set it in the context, that will be added as a variable. So we can use that however we want. So let me go look at one of these. Here's my article ID. And let's go build a query out of it. Yep. So I have this. I'm going to set article ID to this. And now up here, we can do query articles and like, or I guess this would just be article. 
and the article ID is going to be a string. And now we can get our thingy. So let me shut this one down, grab this one, and we're going to close all node article and instead get node article. Yep. Okay. And our ID is going to equal article ID. Well, that's why didn't you fit? Whatever, that's fine. And then that's underneath weird. it, we're going to get, we had the body processed. We had the title. Do we need anything else? We need the image, the image alt. And then and image all under... relationships uh, to get the other image field. Yeah. Cool. Where was it? Local file. It's local file. Yeah. And we're going to do fluid. And I'm just going to pick something down here because we're going to actually replace that with a fragment. So here gives us here's our body, title, field image. So our alt text is here, and then down under here, we've got our, our image kind of source. So I can grab this out, head back in here. Let me shut this down a bit, because uh, we've got some duplication, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And upon saving this, what will happen, I believe, is we should now see in our Yep, we got it. So we've got our data now comes through. So this is the result of the query. And that gives us our node article. And then we get our body, the title, the field alt, and the source. But I'm going to replace this with the uh, the fragment. So Gatsby image sharp. Is that right? Fluid? I think so. Let's find out. Yeah. And it gives us, these are the props that need to get passed to uh, Gatsby image in order to work. So I think we still need to add, which this would be a good time to do that. Uh, we need to, oh, to add Gatsby image. You are correct. Yeah. Um, and there's a question about the image sharp fragments. Unfortunately, they do not work in graphical yet. So we are going to have to uh, fix that at some point. We it's, it's on our list. The, the problem is that like graphical is not Gatsby software. And so it, we're trying to decide, I, I think the discussion has been about whether or not we want to try to insert our own stuff into graphical or if we should be doing something else. Um, and actually the team at one graph has been doing some really amazing work on this. So my assumption is that they will figure that out. I should have started installing this while we were talking while I was talking. Okay. So here comes Gatsby image and this one should be hopefully faster. And yeah. here we go. Good, good. Yeah, perfect. So then I can cool. run Yarn Develop again. So we can start building just a, a real simple template that there, there's a step coming up in here that uh, we're, we're going to need to run this in Gatsby Cloud um, in order to see the preview. Okay. Um, Look at all this cool stuff. So we've got our data. All these things came through. All right, so everything's still working. And we have a site building. So let's build our simple template. And that is going to come out. So we just want that data prop. And if we save that, we'll see here that um, it just simplifies nice. what we're getting. And so I want to turn this into an actual function. Um, and so I'm gonna do something here that I call the, the data layer cake which is where I break down a thing um, by its like, I, I basically I wanna create an abstraction of the article and then pass it to a component so the component just gets props. And so if I do an article, that article is going to have a title and that title is going to be data.node article title. Then it's going to have a body which is going to be data dot node article body parsed. And then it's going to have an image or I guess uh, we'll call it image props. Hmm. I don't like that. What do I want it to be? Um, call it image data. 
and that'll be data dot node. This one's going to be a doozy dot node article dot relationships relationships dot um, field, image. field image dot child image sharp dot <laughs> fluid. So this might be a, a good time to talk about the uh, the optional uh, chaining that's coming to JavaScript, oh, which I really what, like. What magic that will be! Oh, crap, I didn't I didn't even get the whole thing. I missed a local file. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, um, optional chaining is it in the front or the back? So it would be like objects it's, here. Yeah, it's dot, it's dot question mark dot question mark. Yeah. So this doesn't work just yet, but basically what this means is that instead of having to do um, like if object and object dot prop one and object dot prop two, prop one dot prop two, um, you can replace all of this with just this and get the same outcome. Because if this fails, it doesn't like blow up the, the parser, it just, uh, I think it returns undefined. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I it's, believe that is correct. And it's, it's, um, uh, oh, is it actually question mark dot? Uh, oops. I mean, either way. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, but it's awesome. Like it's, a, it's going to be a super useful thing to have and it will be very, very nice for, um, for just cleaning up the code base. Once it gets fully adopted, I think it went to stage three, like last week or something. Um, and stage three is when it starts to show up in Babel and all that good stuff. So hopefully very soon it will be very nice. Um, yeah, would you be able in situations to situations like this where you don't control the depth of the data? I mean, we're it, at the mercy of it, exactly all of this stuff. So. And, and to write this out, like really clearly, this would be a nightmare of like, uh, if data and, and data node article and, and data node article relationship, it would be like. 15 lines of code as opposed to just being able to do the optional chaining. Um, yeah. And in, but, in, in a, in a project where you're building against, uh, like a legacy Drupal site where an image field is something that you want to display, but it's not a required field, you're mm. going to have to do that. And yeah. so like I've gone down that road and it's not fun. Um, yeah, it, it's, it, it's going to be great. Like it's, uh, that one, I'm pretty excited about that one. And did I leave, oh, we want the image alt as well. So let me get the image alt, and that is going to be data node article relation, no. No, uh, it's field image dot alt. Was it just straight field image? Ooh, it sure was. Yep. Field image dot alt. Okay, and so now we have like top level props, right? And so I'm gonna create a component, and we'll call it article. And this one is gonna be import React from React. And what's nice about this is now we have our article component and that's just gonna get title, body, image props, image alt. And we can just like do things with it. Um, so for now, I guess we can dump that and make sure that it's working. And I'm just gonna do the props. Let's delete this, comment this one out. This one will be props now. And we're gonna stringify props null two and export default article. So then back in our template, um, and this is where the layer cake comes in. So the reason that I'm doing this is like, if you were gonna try to rewrite part of this, you don't necessarily wanna have to like, the data munging logic doesn't necessarily need to be strictly tied to the layout. And there are points where it makes a lot of sense, but in a point like this, like we kind of don't care where the data comes from. We just want to build an article layout and it's not a huge number of things. So I, I like this idea of um, making it easier to separate them. And, and uh, if you were doing this in a theme, for example, you would be able to shadow this article without having to worry about changing the query which is another reason why the, the layer cake is, is kind of a nice approach. Um, and then down here, I can return article and I'm just gonna spread the article right on top of it. And that will put each of these as a, that's image data, not image props. That's a really nice pattern. I like that. 
Yeah, I this one has been really it's been super handy for like data massaging and there's some stuff coming up. I've got a stream coming up soon, I think on Monday, early morning Monday with Mikhail Novikov, where we're going to get into advanced GraphQL patterns. And that is going to be like I'm I've been drinking a lot of water and like taking electrolytes and stuff to prep for this because the way that Mikhail's brain works is so many levels above where mine works that I'm just like, this is going to be a marathon, man. (laughs) I'm going to be carbo loading that morning. Um, okay. So with that being said, what should be happening now is let's see. I broke something. Identifier article has already been declared. Oh, yep. That's, that would be correct. Um, because this is an article template. There we go. Now compiled successfully. And we get our, that's the wrong thing. What are you doing? Return article, right? You're doing the thing I said. Got our data. Yeah, all that's doing, it, it, I, I don't know, is it wrong? Yeah, this is we're wrong. we're just stringifying. Oh, we're getting note article, what is that? Yeah, oh, uh, maybe. What are you doing? Um, restart the build or restart yeah, the, it looks the like process. It maybe, maybe cashed up on us. Um, let's see while we're waiting for that to happen. looks like we got a good discussion going in the chat. Let's see. Um, TypeScript. I don't know anything about TypeScript, so I won't comment on that. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So somebody's using the, the layer cake in a component and you know, they didn't have to touch the component responsible for displaying, displaying only the one responsible for data fetching. That stuff is super, super handy. Um, and yeah, the, the Monday stuff, Oh, that's, it's going to be so much fun. I'm, I'm super excited about this one because we can do things. So like one of the things that's coming that I'm really excited for, and I, I played with in a, like an abstract way is now you can define a generic interface. You can say like, I want blog posts. And then using the GraphQL stuff that Mikhail and, and Stefan props from the community have been working on, they can now say, I want blog posts to pull in data from any number of sources. So like I want to load some of it from Markdown because that's where the developers work and some of it from a CMS because that's where the marketing team works, but they're both blog posts. So the data just gets massaged into a uniform format. So like the front end team doesn't have to care that the blog is managed in two places. They just have to care that blog posts exist. Like unbelievably cool things are coming down the pipeline. And it wow. looks it looks like this built. Let's let's go yeah. find out. Hey hey. And we're getting the right stuff. We're getting nice. the right stuff. I did forget to send through the body. I mean, do we really need that? <laughs> uh what did I do wrong? No, the body's body there. processed, not parsed. Words. They're really hard. There's our body. All right, so let's oh. let's do a thing. Um, okay. Mr. Nime, you have 109 blitz bucks. How did you get so many blitz bucks so fast? Um, <laughs> so I'm going here. I thought I killed Nightbot. I could have sworn I turned that off. Um, I'll figure that out after this stream. Building a template. So now we have this one, which means I can get rid of this one, which means that we have our, uh, let's see here. So we can do like a article. That seems like the semantic component for this. We'll do an (laughs) H1. I mean, it's a little on the nose. (laughs) And then we're gonna pull in, we need Gatsby image. So I'm gonna import image from Gatsby image. And then down here we can do an image and we want fluid and that's going to be image Image data data. and then alt will be image alt. And then for the body, we'll just do a div with dangerously set inner HTML. And then the HTML is, what was it, body? And boom. Beautiful. Production ready. Let's do this. <laughs> Ship it. Yep. Okay. Now we need to <laughs> get this running in Gatsby Cloud to see preview working. Um, or we can open an NGROC port. And no, no, no. Let's, that- let's, I mean, 
I let's try Gatsby preview. I don't actually. So can I make a confession? What's up? Uh, I work at Gatsby and I have not used Gatsby preview yet. So do you want to teach me how it works? Uh, sure. So we need to <laughs> shove to get this fired info up into. <laughs> I don't even know if I can sign up. Do I have an account? I think the beta. Oh, cool! Is open. Yeah, it's open now. Yeah, so the beta is open. So we we, we got to shove the repo up into. Uh, okay, so let me get the GitHub. Oh, it is getting edited. Um, so I'm gonna do. I've got the hub tools installed, so I can just do a git create. Okay, this is something I need to look into. It's so amazing. So now I have my my git my GitHub is created, and I'm going to git add everything. What does that give us? Is that like a bunch of stuff I didn't want to share? No, that's all right. So then I'm going to get commit uh, feature pushing to master YOLO. And then we'll set upstream to origin master so that we can just do get push in the future. Nice. And then um, again, using the hub tools, I'm going to get browse to make sure that that did what we want. Cool, cool, cool. Um, technically, yes, I should get it for free. I think I might have to ask somebody about that, and I definitely have not done so. Um, so after this stream, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have to like go apologize to the team for not knowing how that works. Um, so we have a repo. It's a thing. It's got our our config and everything is up here, so that's good. What do I do next? Do I go to preview? Uh, yeah, we go to preview. We got to connect your, well, let's get your preview account going. So like okay. Gatsby preview is pretty dead simple. If you've done any work with like Netlify, you connect the repo, you tell it to do a thing and it does a thing. It's really nice, super painless. Okay, so I want to be in my thingy. I'm in a bunch of, can't uh, so find my repo. Add it on the thing. Okay, I want that one. Um, GitHub. Are you not doing my thing? This one? Okay. Four permissions. I guess I can trust Gatsby. I mean, if you can't, who can you? Drupal Gatsby demo. Oh, this is the only repo that references Drupal? I told I've never used it before today. This is literally my first try. I'm doing so okay. many things for the first time today. What an adventure. Uh, Hopefully it's a positive experience. So we don't need any of this. Now there is some instructions on connecting okay, so Drupal I, to this, but But you are my instructions today. I got you. <laughs> Probably. Okay, so I'm I mean, skipping. Yep. Branch to build, so from, his master. build from master. We don't need any environment variables. We got it under control. Um, right. So I have a webhook, but I'm I don't need. Do I add this to Drupal or anything? I nah. guess I, eventually we're, we're I gonna, will, right? We we built this a different way um, okay. because we're actually passing data and we're not just telling it to to pull data again. We 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 wanted Look it how to be happy very, and very, cute. This little typewriter is. It's adorable. Uh, I gotta say, uh, so again. It, embarrassingly this is the first time that i'm using preview and what a great job this front end team did um we've got rigel and greg on our front end team we've got florian kissling on the design team and this is gorgeous like i just i love the way this looks it's uh i uh, and i love this team so much so we are building so once it's so it's it's actually just running um gatsby develop uh but once it has that up and going um it will give us a URL and we're going to take that URL and we're going to throw it into the config on the Drupal site. So if we go back to the Drupal site, let's get that config page up and ready to accept. Back to the thingy. Uh, nope. Tab just thingy? to the left of that. Yeah. This one, config page. Uh, or was yep. it the Gatsby preview page? Uh, no, no, no. It's uh, config and then there should be Gatsby preview somewhere down here. I don't think I ever actually enabled Gatsby Preview, honestly. Oh, uh, let's check that. These systems are so strange to me. There we go. 
Okay, so we now it's told it on install to install and enable. We most certainly did. Drupal people, take note. <laughs> this is this is inadvertently going to start a war. Like I'm going to become an arch nemesis of the Drupal community. They're going to come after me. All right, so now it's it should be installed. Let me just double check that. Okay, so it's installed. There we go. And or enabled or whatever we just did. And now on the configuration page, we are looking for a Gatsby Live preview settings. There they are. And now I have my preview server URL. Perfect. That's exactly and, what we want. So let's go back to uh, the Gatsby cloud tab and see if that build has completed. Okay. Um, and it has. Panic oh. 667 uh, I have an answer for you. I'm so glad you asked. So Gatsby is a, um, it's kind of a framework using React and a pre-configured Webpack and Babel and all that other good stuff for build times um, with a GraphQL data layer for pre-building. And so what we'll do is we'll let you hook up any data source you want. So as you can see today, we went into this config and we're using Drupal as a data source. Then once you have installed this data source, you're able to query any of that data here as, as we've done. We can just query the data from Drupal and we put it into a template. And so this is our, our silly React template that we didn't style at all. And upon doing that, what we're able to do is build the site into static assets that are pre-optimized for performance and code split and images are, are compressed and optimized. We'll see here if I reload this page. Oh, I turned the server off, so that won't work. But if I go to like using Gatsby image, you can see the, um, the images here. They do like a lazy loading thing. And all of that leads to ultra high performance without a whole lot of additional effort on your part. You know, the idea is if you can build a, a React site, you can build it with Gatsby and get all these perf optimizations and, and UX optimizations for free. Um, then on the commercial side, we have Gatsby Cloud, of which preview is a, is a feature. And that allows you to very quickly put up this shareable URL. And I'm going to grab this. Yeah, let's do that. We didn't and create a very usable index, did we? We sure did not. Um, but so now we've got a live instance that I can share. So it, literally anybody who wants to see this, I can send this to you right now. Um, you can all go look at our, our live site. So if I was working as a, a content editor, which I'm going to do shortly, um, I would be able to show you updates in real time. And so this is kind of like, if you're a developer on your own, this probably doesn't matter. You're going to run a local instance of, of Gatsby and, and you get this without having to install preview. But if you're working on a team or you have content managers who aren't going to install local versions of, of the site, then you can stand this up and they'll be able to see those previews without having to do any code. So for them, they get this link and then they're going to go into the into here. So actually show me how to, what do I do next? Cause I haven't tried so let's this get yet. that link from the other window here from the Gatsby cloud. So it gives us that this URL, thing. right? Do I want yeah. just this? Just that. Okay. Boom. Paste it. Done. Save it. Uh, now we are going to go to content, go to content and let's find that delicious milk chocolate article in the content. I will say I'm a little offended that they're like, an umami guide and they're like, you know what? Let's make dairy free hot chocolate. Um, no uh, offense to, to my dairy free friends. At yeah, the top that. there that we can. Yeah. Dairy. Hello filter. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. So here's what we're going to do. And I don't know if you want to pull this up side by side, anybody looking at uh, that URL that you have, uh, in the chat, we'll be able to see this happen magically. It's going to be glorious. Auto. Oh, such tiny windows, baby, little baby windows. Um, let me. Let's see. This is the this is the demo, and I can make this demo pretty small because we don't need a huge amount of window space here for that. So because it's a perfect website, indeed, it no is. No styles needed. Okay. Okay. So I have my dairy free and delicious milk chocolate and if i there, want to can i collapse this does that that's i think not if you go up to the top it'll let you collapse it yeah okay all right so if we go to edit i'm going to edit 
quick edit. Oh, I don't know about this. Hang on. No, we got to go to the edit tab. What? This fine. freaks me out. Well, fine, I mean, so click and see if it works. No, no. I'm going to do no, whatever you that. said. Let's, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Let's try it. Live dangerously. I'm also going to end up. Oh, there snap. Look at that. So look that just worked. Magic. It just it just did the thing. That is amazing. Um, and so the other cool thing about this, and now I haven't um, set up a, a production site, but I can do that real quick. Let's do Netlify in it. What are we doing on oh, time? Man, oh, we got so much time. I'm going to take this to production. So I'm going to create and configure a new site. The site name is going to be Gadruple Gadspy Demo. Oh, Shane's here. Shane's in the chat. Code Karate. What up, he, Code he Karate? He built the, uh, the Drupal side of, of this uh, preview thing that we are doing. What? A site with Drupal Gatsby demo already. You're killing me with your stealing my my demo names. Gatsby Drew or no Drupal Gatsby demo. Learn with Jason. Put it on my org. Okay, we got it. That is going to be Yarn Build. Public. Public. And I do want a Netlify Tommel. Good, good, good. It's doing the things I want. Let's check the status. I'm gonna do. Uh, let me just update the Git ignore. I don't. I, I don't think you're supposed to include this .netlify folder because all it includes is this um, this site ID, and I don't feel like that's particularly useful from a Git standpoint. So I just leave it out in case somebody clones this. I don't want them to be confused by like why Netlify thinks they're trying to run my site. So I'm ignoring Netlify. And I'm going to run git status again. Gives me the Netlify toml. Let me do a git add all. Git commit mv, or this is a chore. Deploy with Netlify. Let's push. And now, again, like I love these command line tools are so cool. The Netlify CLI is amazing. And that's done, so I'm going to Netlify open. That's going to take me to their, oh no, that's not the one I wanted. Ready to go on this one. Let's put this in the big window. And so now we've got the deploy in progress. I can see that it's building, and this is the one that we want. So this will build live. And what is very exciting about this, I think, how do I get like, do you do you do draft stuff in here if I so the workflow that we've settled on is we we do kind of batch pushes or uh, we wait for a batch of changes before we trigger a, a build hook so okay. our our netlify doesn't deploy on every save it deploys uh, kind of periodically okay uh, so we're we're still working out a, a good workflow for that but okay. yeah there's there's a lot that you can do with uh, using the cloud instance or the, the Gatsby cloud instance is like staging. Okay. So we're building. How are we doing down here? Getting close. <laughs> Somebody sent you a link saying it's done. Oh, is it really? What did I do? Oh, it's because I committed the, um, I committed the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the Netlify Tommel. And so that triggered a new build. And so then in here, if we get the, where was it? Gatsby, 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 this one. Let me get our dairy free. Come back out here to our, where was it? This one. So that's our Netlify. So here's our Netlify post. And this has picked up that change. But so what I want to do is I want to be able to send a link to Grant that I'm going to change things. And so let's say that uh, between now and sending this, I have decided that I am in fact vegan. And I'm going to, so this is like me and another content editor arguing now over how good the chocolate milk is. So this one is updated. I can send you this one. But then if we mm -hmm. go back to here and I reload, it still says kind of delicious. So now like we can have a, a whole bike shedding argument about how delicious dairy free chocolate milk is and not have to worry about it going live. Like I can send you the previews. I could change this image. I could update text. I could do all sorts of things. Right. 
And this would give us um, the ability to kind of show what something would look like without having to make live updates, which is a really, really powerful workflow. And now when we're ready, like if I, so if I wanna make another change, let me, actually, let me change this image. How do I do that? Uh, the little pencil button doesn't show up next to it. Mm. So I usually go to the, to the actual like edit tab. Edit, edit. Oh, uh, what's it doing? It's, there we go. Okay. Okay. And then I've got my image. Yep. And I'm going to remove this image. And instead, we're going to put in, sure. I was hoping for the Jason dance. Uh, yeah, I can, I, I will show that because it is kind of fun. So I was trying to come up with fun things to do for, for the stream. And I was like, hey, what if I made a bunch of like silly animated GIFs? And so this one got built because I was working on After Effects stuff. And then like, I'm, I'm such an idiot. I don't know why I did any of these. <laughs> and then I've got like that one. That's that one will play if anybody subscribes because I'm really excited. I about like it. that one. And then this I think I one. did. This is like when the elevator music plays. Um, these are all my terrible ideas. And uh, like, if you knew what my life is like, it took me so long. I was sitting in front of my camera trying to get these right for so, so terribly long. Uh, indeed, I do dab. Uh, I think this will play if somebody hosts the stream or something like that. Um, I had to look it up to make sure that I wasn't being like completely insensitive by dabbing, but as far as I can tell, it's just a dance. So let's update this and yeah, thank you. Is your username medicinal meth? That's troubling. Maybe. Please take care of yourself. Um, save. So <laughs> I'm saving. What is, and I assume preview doesn't work right now. Like if I hit that button, it doesn't. Um, I know it works on save preview. So preview in the Drupal context is a different thing. So okay. this is, so I'm going to save like in future iterations, we're going to hook it up to the, the Drupal, uh, or the, the Gatsby preview URLs. We have plans for this. And this is loading. I don't know. Did I put a huge image in there? I, th I don't think that image is that big. They look pretty small. It was, where's the 90s logo here? Oh, the save's going to time out. 35 kilobytes. How so dare you? That's oh, no, issue. here it goes. Here it goes. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it did it. So that is now updated live. And here, again, Netlify is still very live. Um, <laughs> I love this so much. Um, these are the sillier things that I've done. So... This is the live site, like this is production, and we have a, a version that we can go argue about that we can share around. And like, again, this is completely, um, no, what if I just go back here? What do I, where am I going? Like this, I'm just going to reload this page. And so it did work. I, so something, something timed out in Drupal, but we did get what we wanted, which is a, a new image is there. And so now. This is going to do like, th this is really cool. Like, I love this. And uh, Jesus is, I believe, I hope I got your name right. I think it's Jesus Olivas um, mm -hmm. is saying that the build hooks module allows you to deploy via a click. Um, yeah, so what, what I think we want is we're doing this manually right now. Um, and that would be, so let me, there's a, a link here that I can look at. Let me go to our big window and we'll take a point. And so this, any service provider. Oh, nice. Look at that. Um, at will. So this is what I want. I want the at will. So should we install this? How much time do we have? We got like 15 minutes. You want to take a, you want to gamble? Uh, we, so we can do that or we can take a look at the, uh, the theme up to you. I, I'm going to make this your choice because I feel like you built a theme and I don't want to rob you oh, of the opportunity. Sure. Okay, let's do it. Uh, how do I find it or where do I go? Uh, so let's let's go back to the project that we were just working on and okay. let's uh, let's like strip out all the work that we did. 
Um, okay, so get so check out theme. Nope. Theme, no, theme version. Okay. Now, do you want me to strip out literally everything, or should I keep the components? Uh, so I want. So we're going to strip out the components. Uh, we're going to strip out um, the Gatsby source Drupal. Just the uh, whole computer. I'm, just, I'm very much kidding. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> Did so anybody source. else just have like heart palpitations? Um, so I'm removing source. I'm removing Gatsby node, Gatsby, Gatsby node. config. We still want config. No, no, no. We're going to build our own. We're going to start from scratch. Um, what else? Do I, do I want to like, should I nuke the package JSON and everything? No, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. We'll, uh, we'll, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the, the source and the Gatsby node. And then right. over here, we'll manually clear things out. So I'm going to dump all of this for now, right? Well, no. No. So I would I would kill uh, line three and four, and instead of Gatsby source Drupal, okay. we're just going to do Gatsby theme Drupal. So Gatsby I built this around Drupal. the idea that people are going to um, use this to template against what is in their uh, their Drupal instance. Okay, and then they can make a seamless transition once they have what they want mm -hmm. over to the source plugin. Okay, do I need um, to keep Gatsby image, or is that packaged up in the theme? There's 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 no Gatsby image needed. No Gatsby image needed. Okay. But we do we do need uh so I've once got those this. are gone. So we'll, we'll I'm rise. now going to yarn add Gatsby theme Drupal. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that's good. And so just double checking that all of that did what I wanted it to do. We've got Gatsby theme Drupal now. And so yeah. we're configuring that Gatsby theme Drupal and we just keep the base URL. Any, anything else change? That's it. Ooh. All right. Yarn develop. I have tested this one time. Yep. This is two times. So I'm pretty happy about that. Well, we've literally doubled the amount of tests, so <laughs> <laughs> test coverage increased by a hundred percent. Yeah, I'm into that. Um, how are we doing? All right. Okay, so that works. Check that out. So, nope, nope. This one. Like, is it supposed to? Do we have stuff? Oh, we have Whoa. stuff. Whoa! Whoa! So Holy, what? <laughs> I enjoy Holy that reaction. Dang. So when you look at, there, there's a couple things going. So let's go back to the homepage real quick. Um, so if we go back to the index, you can click on the little home. Yeah. Um, so what we have here are entity types and then okay. content nodes, right? So uh, our entity types are going to have a really interesting interface if, if we go in there. Our nodes allow you to kind of explore things. But if you go into entity types, what you get is some dynamic instruction on how to query and build templates like we just built. Um, mm. So it shows you how to build the template. And I may actually change this over uh, to the pattern that we just did, uh, which was which was pretty nice. Um, and then have this, this so shows you what to me, put in your, uh, yeah. oh, that's much better. Yeah. yeah I, to, uh, I work on a very tiny browser because like for, for two reasons. One, I need the the screen real estate for streaming. And also I'm just very old and I like things to be big. Um, <laughs> got these aging eyes, man. Uh, okay. So you've got your list of, uh, of fields for this entity over yeah. on the right. Um, it, are, is yeah. this, is this dynamically generated? So if I like, Yep. build a completely different Drupal site. This is just going to pick that up and, and show me. Yep. And so this is this, wow. you can use this on any Drupal site as there are a couple of caveats and those caveats are if you're using uh, JSON API thing, there's, there's some module that allows you to alter uh, what the node name is coming from JSON API in okay. Drupal. If you modify that node name to something that isn't the standard node convention, okay. um, it, it I, I depend on that convention to do this. Otherwise, there's like no way for me to know what nodes are coming from where. I understand. Um, okay. Right. So this allows you to, to explore 
um, what Whoa. what articles you have, um, this is so and slick. what data you want. So go ahead and, and build a query here uh, yeah. for these. All right. So I'm I'm just gonna get the title so that we can go nice and fast. But like, this is amazing. Scroll up. Um, wait, what did you just do? Did you just do a thing? <gasps> Titles there. Yeah, sir. That took me a bit. Uh, that is but, slick. So I holy crap. I'm okay, hold on, hold on. Now I'm gonna do more. <laughs> uh, do all the things. Do all of it. All right, let's get an alias. Let's add some body. Um, let's add this image. Where did the image go? I saw you down here somewhere. Nope. Here. Uh, it should be yeah. Relationships. Field image. Field alt. Image. And then I got field image. Local file. Where's my child image sharp? Oh, it, we don't have that installed, sir. I know. You should build that in. That would be uh, that you could just drop that into the theme. Yep. Sick. Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll be okay with that for now. I'm just going to use this URL, and then I'm going to run this, and now there are all of these amazing things happening, and yep. it just dumps that as data, which is great, but like, this is, this is slick, man. This is nicely done. Thanks. It's, uh, it's, it came in just in time for uh, theme jam, but there's lots and lots of work that needs to be done on this to make it even more usable. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's some really cool ideas. Um, and if anybody wants to contribute to it, um, it is open source and I would really like to, uh, get some more ideas kind of shoved into this thing. Cause I think it could be really useful right now. It's just a learning tool to start building against Drupal. Sure. Um, I think it could be more than that. Yeah. Well, and there's some cool stuff like you could, uh, we just built a, like an MDX, um, uh, MDX copy component for code so that you'd be able to like show this and have a little copy button so that I could just grab it and paste it straight in. And so you could steal that straight across. Um, I think Ben, who's in the chat today or who was in the chat today is, uh, he built like a table of contents thing that'll like float off to the right and follow the headings down the page and stuff. So there's like some really cool things that you could just borrow from existing open source, like the Gatsby stuff that we've done. And I have a feeling that we are going to steal this idea like wholesale. If you wanted to package this up into something where like we could just embed this in themes in general, I feel like this should be a default. I love this as like anytime you build a theme that's a data sourcing theme that this is how it works because this is gorgeous. Like the, it's so nice to use um, and being able to come in and just immediately play with the code and get some docs and see what everything is. I'd love it even more if we could like add some limited docs to this. I don't know what exactly that would look like, but understanding what the types are for, like if that gets sent through Drupal or something, I don't know if people do that, but. Well, this is, so these fields are pulled using uh, GraphQL introspection, which uh, I think when you do your stream with Mikhail uh, next week, I will learn more about. Yeah, um, yeah. But like this, this pushed the boundaries of my understanding of, of how GraphQL works in, in the context of Gatsby. So awesome. I loved building this. Uh, I would love to keep learning and, and building this more. Well, yeah, this is, this is absolutely beautiful. Like so well done. Um, I love, yeah. And it's, it's, oh, and so this is built now so that I can query specifically this article. Um, yep. dang, that is cool. Yeah, this is beautiful. Uh, and this is your to-do list. I take it. Yep. Very cool. Um, Grant, this is, this is amazing. And I also think this is an excellent stopping point. So let's, let's go out on top here. Um, where should people find you online? Uh, I am at Grant Glidewell on Twitter and I am. Yeah, that's me. I'm Grant Glidewell pretty much everywhere. So, uh, pretty much everywhere. Where, where, where would you prefer people got in touch with you? Like Twitter, First obviously. Grant. Um, and, and look, let's, let's go get my man, Grant, uh, another hundred followers. Cause, uh, he needs to experience the, the Twitter crush of everyone having lots of things to say. Uh, <laughs> <hug of> <laughs> that's a, I like that. The Twitter hug of death. Um, well, we can also call it the Lingsdorf bump. The, well, let, well, I guess we'll find out what is the Langsdorf bump. Uh, today is the first of August. Let's see what the Langsdorf bump does. Let's give it a week. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, I'm gonna refresh this page right now. Do you have more followers? Look at that, three. The oh Langsdorf God. bump is three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, so this is great. Uh, anything else you want me to, you want to plug or, or promote is before we wrap it up. Uh, third and Grove, uh, does a lot of good work in the Boy, Drupal community and we are contributing increasingly to, uh, Gatsby projects and trying to help push those initiatives. So, uh, Excellent. I think my employer will be happy with that. Yeah. Great. Okay, and with that, I'm gonna do a quick plug for um, some upcoming events. We talked about Mikhail coming on. I'm so excited about that one. It's gonna be amazing. Um, immediately following him, actually, Monday's a double header. So I have Mikhail at like seven o'clock Pacific time in the morning. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And then later in that afternoon, well, actually still in the morning, 11 a.m. Pacific, I've got Kelly Vaughn coming on and we're gonna look at setting up cron jobs and scheduling builds. So if you have a post that you want to go live at a certain time, how can you do that? And that's gonna require some kind of a, a schedule or a cron job. So I've never done that. We're just gonna get on a stream and figure that out. Um, Later that week on Thursday, we've got Kirk Kempel. We're going to do serverless GraphQL. That's going to be super fun. The AWS team is doing some amazing stuff. Um, and then we just, we're like going all week. I'm going to build a Twilio app with uh, with Nathaniel Kenwa. That's going to be amazing. It's going to be like collaborative video chat editing. Uh, we're going to do design systems in MDX. We're going to do data visualization with, uh, so we've got Kathleen McMahon from O'Reilly coming on. Uh, Swizzik Teller is coming on to do data visualization. Contentful with Khaled Garbayat. Like this is going to be, an amazing month. Like August is going to be so much fun. Um, so please set a reminder, go follow, uh, you know, follow on Twitch, subscribe on Twitch, get those reminders so that you are able to come in and join. Like this is going to be so much fun. Um, and with that, I think we're out. Grant, thank you so much for coming on today. Thanks for having me. All right. We will see y'all next time. Thanks so much.